How's it going guys, Jace here back today with another standard deck tech of course and today we've got an interesting one, we've got a Soul Tie Beans deck, it's all about the beans today, no it's about up the Beanstalk, this card is absolutely incredible and we're also playing another card with Bean in it, we're playing the Beanstalk Worm, I know just a common, you may be thinking what on earth's going on, we're going to be getting into this deck list, it is a kind of a mid rangey ramp list, it is quite fun, it, it kind of takes the best of all these different colours and kind of a weird mishmash, it is a weird mishmash deck. Let's get into the deck. So we're starting off with two copies of cut down, nice tree removal spell, deal with whatever, you know, mono red, aggro, just get them out of here, right? Then we've got four copies of duress, a uh, great way to just interact with your opponent, rip out the cards out of their hand, you know, removal, whatever it may be. People just don't expect it in best of one, so it's quite nice playing the full four. Then we've got two copies of make this appear, you can catch your opponent off guard, boom, counter their stuff, which is great, right? Then we've got three copies of go for the throat, great removal spell, probably the best in the format. Then we've got two copies of the Mosswood Dread Knight. Like I said, this deck's full of weird stuff, weird mishmash of stuff. So only playing two copies, I mean, he's just really good. Good early game, good mid to late game, grindy, get that card draw going. Pretty good. Then we've got up the Beanstalk. I mean, the fact is that this card immediately replaces itself and then starts drawing you a bunch of cards when you start playing big mana spells. So incredibly powerful. Then we've got two copies of Siphon Insight. Still stuff from our opponents, see what they got. Use it for ourselves. Really nice. Then we've got two copies of the Chrome Host Seed Shark. I love this guy. I mean, really good against aggro decks because of that 2-4 body. Blind's very relevant. And you can get quite a lot of incubator tokens with this deck, mainly because we just have a lot of non-creature spells, which is pretty sweet indeed. Then we've got two copies of Blowout, one of my favorite removal spells, to be fair and standard. Being able to just exile something is very, very useful, and it's usually their biggest thing. It's just really good. I actually really rate it. Then we've got a nice little one of them, one Glisser. Get in there. They're hard to, you know, defend. Hard to, you know and get off the table because i mean especially if you haven't got removal this is tough you know a first try death toucher it's just really difficult and it's just really good it gives you card advantage as well which i really like then one copy of celestus uh you know just a nice one of it or out your hand gain some a bit of life which is quite nice and obviously ramp because we are kind of ramping in this deck as well then we've got one of shieldred you know nothing too fancy just a nice little one of we've got two copies of leah it's been a while since we played this guy really really cool i actually quite like this you know because we have a lot of cheap stuff that we want to bring back and we don't have a lot of counter spells, that's fine. He is pretty good. Then we've got four copies of the Beanstalk Worm. Now, this is just a 5 4 reach, but it ramps us. And it's a 5 drop. It's key with up the Beanstalk. Now, you can play a bunch of other 5 drops in this deck, but we're playing this mainly because it ramps. 5 4 reach is not too bad, actually, to, you know, really. Uh, so, yeah, we're giving it a go. Who would have thought? Then we got two copies of Holebreaker Horror. Been a while since I played this guy as well. Huge body, flash. I mean, if you bring this guy in uh, and you've got a couple of Beanstalks out, We'll draw a bunch of cards is just an absolute game ending card right and then into the lands we've got a bunch of basics of course we've got the ability lands you know, besage you and the soaring sea as well and then we've got a couple of restless cottages to get in there and deal some damage and then of course we've got the vine stalk again get in there deal some damage and a few copies of mirrix and a field of ruin to take out other creature lands if you do want to get this deck a try guys the deck list will be in the description below we can play in some best of one standard games and see how well we can go and how far we can get that beanstalk right opponent going first um it's okay if i had i mean a green source would be great but okay land go could play the mirix here uh and play this the other bunny or fear the bunny an additional land Get that down. Okay, still no green source though. But got double mirrors. Okay. We got no white source. Interesting. Well, I do have a green source now, because I can play the Celestus. Let's see wanna counter it. No? Okay. Uh, and pass. I think they were debating about countering it. Um, the bunny. Okay. Don't kill the bunny. Um, play this. Play this. Play this. Yep. Okay. Next turn, I'll play the big boy. Opponent stuck on mana. Okay, GG. 
All right, going first. Uh, I'll keep and try and draw myself into something because having two seven drops in my open hand is is not ideal. Um, also, I'm kind of stuck on land, like that's in like they'll come to play tap to the moment, which is again not great. But we see how we get on. All right, let's go. On top land would be amazing here. Please don't be more red. Okay, it looks like ramp. All right. Shame I can't play play this, but right, lands. That's all I need, baby. Give me lands. Could be control, but uh, I think it might more so be the ramp. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we've got ramp. Another. Um. Yeah, I think. I think we just ramp here. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, next turn, well, I have to wait and see. Probably just up the beanstalk, hope to draw a third land, Glissa. Yep, we're all ramping here. We are all ramping. Holebreaker Horror is going to be pretty good, I think, in this matchup. Dress, that's a pretty good draw. Let's do it. Okay, so they do have the Atraxa. Um, the Populate, I don't really care about. Sunfall, again, don't really care about. Virtual Persistence, that means I won't play Glissa this turn. Could take the Invasion. Yeah, let's take the Invasion. Let's just slow them down. Uh, a smidge. Let's go up the Beanstalk. Okay, to get a land. Nice. Try and slow him down a bit. I mean, they're two mana away from a Traxxer. That would mean they would give them the land to activate this as well, and I just don't want to be dealing with that. Okay. There you go, they didn't do anything that turn. Perfect. Let's just play a big boy. Record. Okay. I mean, they could depopulate if they really want. I don't know why they would want to, but I mean, they could summon for as well. Uh, no box. Realize they got the virtual persistence there. I want to give them that. They fire off a board sweeper. I'll just play another worm. No, okay. Go for the fright. Well, that's for the Attraxer. Come in. Take five. It's pretty good. Uh, could play... Take out this. Uh, yep. I'm just going to pass. I'm going to siphon inside them. Okay. Yeah, just going to siphon inside them. That'd be pretty good. Right. You're planning. Ah, there's the invasion. So we've got a tracks the next turn. Yeah, I'm gonna go for throw this, I think. Yeah. Deal with that. Take one. Okay, I wanna draw a land, something, or a counter spell. Blot out. I mean that deals with a tracker as well. Um Okay. Still not great. 
Uh, could play the worm, force them. Try and deal with my stuff. They play a track, so that's fine by me. Okay, well, I did draw the count spell. Blight Elf's good dealing with a track, so. Okay. That's fine. Need land though. Oh, I can counter stuff, but I need definitely need land. Sure. At this rate I won't be able to counter anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, did get land nice. Nine. Uh eh. I mean not much difference. Let's play this anyway. And pass. They could uh, virtue here. Which is fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. They're gonna go for it. Not looking good for me here. I, I stumbled a bit on land, which is a bit unfortunate. much I can do there. Yeah, I'm kind of on the back foot here. Like, limited by the amount of spells I can cast in a turn. Yep. Um, hmm. Yeah, see, I don't have the mana to really do anything. Got the siphon inside them. Up the beanstalk. Could get a land. Get a land, I just need a land. Need to be here, mana. That's the biggest problem I've got at the moment, just can't get the mana. See what I can get. Something good, please. Uh, let's grab that. Yeah, sure. Not great, but. Take another land. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go for the throw. That just seems pretty, pretty lame. And they're gonna bring back a Traxxer. Anyway, I don't see how I can win this, to be honest. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, four, five, six. I'm not sure, one man short doing this and this. Everything's one man short. Everything. Pass. Yep. Not much I can do about that. Leyline Biden's galore. Well, oh, okay. Oh. 
another attracts uh, ley line binding not, not not the best but still they don't really uh need much be me here uh i can't block can i they got ley line binding realized uh i mean i can survive from nightline binding Virtue. Yeah. I mean, I lose another land to be fair, but I'm going to make the choice. Rexa is the best finisher in the game. I mean, yeah, I don't I can't even get these down because of the ley line bindings. I just can't really. I don't have anything cheap to follow up with. Okay. No, I'm not dead yet. Another land's always good. Yep. This. This. Yep. In some life. Kill their stomper. Watch what I can do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They play tracks the next turn. I can go Leer, lot out again. Great, but... All this virtue going around. Mm-hmm. Need like a cheap. Need to play this like a cheap spell. Hope they don't get a ley line bind him. Oh, they did. Oh, okay. That's a really good good reveal there. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna see. I don't see how I can how I can come back from that. All right, going first. Uh, yeah, keep. Looks pretty decent. I uh, got removal. Got bean stored to get some card draw going. Uh Hopefully not against a uh, very fast aggro deck. Right, we can lead off with the cottage. Okay, so we're against the Charmin deck. Cut down, it's a good one. Get that one going right now, why not? Attack ban and pass. It's a good draw there, that cut down. Okay, they've got another one, alright. Leo, uh, we go land, we go up the beanstalk. Oh, we're hitting lands, nice. What I like to see. Yep, I'm just gonna go for the throw that. We go land, go for the throw, I think. Another up the beanstalk. Oh, okay. We're going all the way up, apparently. Of that. Right, over to your opponent. Why 
we'll just play Leah next turn. Oh wow, okay. Play Leah, draw two cards. Bad. Not bad at all. We got like a classification. Yep. Makes sense. Okay, uh, play the cottage. Play the shark. Play the dress. Take the other ossification. Nice. Yep. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, not quite. Okay, they got another ossification, sure. Not quite enough for the whole mega horror, but. Got another shark. All good. I drove him pretty sweet. Make it disappear. Okay. Done. Okay. Now things are going to get crazy with the whole break horror. Yeah, might as well. Uh, do I double block here? Yeah, why not? GG. Okay, going first. The yeah, keep. Actually, not bad hand, actually. I quite like that. Alright, uh, we'll start off with that. We got some ramp as well. Not bad. Up the beanstalk could be pretty sweet draw. Um. Should play the forest. My bad. Oh, well, keep on going for throat. Doesn't really matter when. Okay. Uh, we got ramp. Go land. I'm going to draw a card as well. There we are. Not a bad turn there. Not a bad turn at all. Glissa. Draw. Oh, go for the throw that. Wait. Open inside's gonna be pretty good as well. Start taking all my opponent's good stuff. Children. It's annoying, but it's what it is, isn't it? Uh, land. One, two, three, four, five, six. Play this guy. Um. Wing. And then I go blue. Black. Just so then I can use the mirrors. Hmm. Oh. Yep. 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 Out of that. Nice. Bring in if you want. We'll be making a bunch of these tokens, getting in there, getting that damage going. Nope, oh, he's going to keep him on defense. Yeah, that's a wise choice. Glissa? Oh, Glissa's okay. Still need a removal though. I was hoping to hit that removal. Um, on my opponent. I will take that, and that's way better. Right, play the Restless Cottage, thank you for that. Okay. Wing in. Um, yeah, play Glissa as well. Just get everything out there. 
force my opponent to uh, you know, to do something. I do have Breach the Multiverse, which I think I'm going to play next turn. Is it going to do so? Okay. Sure. Uh, yeah, draw. Draw as well. Uh, I think we just do it. Okay, uh, what does my opponent have? I'm getting a Lily. Lily's pretty good. And I think here I'm trying to grab a Leo. They gotta kill the Leo, right? Oh well, or, or not? Okay, going first. Uh, yeah, keep. It seems pretty good. We got um, no removal. I mean, drawing the whole break horror is just is uh not great at all. But um, is what it is. Okay, potentially against. It could be, I'll say ram, but it could be uh, anything really. Could be as for mid range, could be control. We control. I'm gonna go with it's probably control. I wanted to tap the Merrick's, but okay. Counter if you want. Okay. Probably control them. Uh, pass. Shieldred. Oh, let's see what you've got. You good? Take that. <laughs> oh, I can't cast. I can actually. Yeah, I can cast any mana. Woo! That was lucky. That was a. Risk. That was actually quite funny. Legit. Uh Okay, this. Last turn. Can I make this here was funny? Oh, it was funny. You want to go for it again? Going up the beanstalk, baby. We're going for it again. Uh, I'm going to siphon inside you. Everybody announcement. Pretty good. Uh, sure. Yep. Land. Uh, cook. Yeah, I'm just going to go for throw. Tap that. I don't want to keep leaving that one open. That's the one I don't care about. There we go. I did like to draw land, then I can go Leia. Okay, Sewer King. Can't kill that. Yeah, you can interrupt my graveyard. Kind of annoying. Hey, he took the creature. Yeah, boy. Six. Now I'm just going to cast Leia. Okay. Still no. Rest them. Um, don't care about that now. Probably just get rid of the virtue. He's got two wandering emperors. Okay. I'm pretty good. Taking stuff out of my graveyard. Yeah. Okay, did get a land. Um, we're going to go up the beanstalk. Three of them. 
Can't counter any of my stuff. Um, go for throw this. Cool. Uh, and pass, I think. Okay. Could have swung in, but there's no point. Not looking good for my opponent here, but it's good for me. Especially when I get that whole break of horror down. Okay. Uh. We just bring him with the three two twos, and then they're gonna play a wandering emperor. They're gonna make a guy. I'm gonna cut down the guy. Run away. You'll be safer. If they do make a guy, no, they're gonna buff up that guy. Okay, so cut down that. Uh, no, I'm just gonna look. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight. No, actually, I'm gonna keep. I'll just keep the whole break of horror up. Yep. Yep. Over to you. I'll break a horror, draw three cards. <laughs> Seems pretty good to me. Go. Yep. Keep watch for intruders. Here we go, boys. <laughs> GG. Okay, going first. When we get into an aggro deck, this isn't too bad. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep. It's good. It's risky. It's super risky, but i got to go for it, right? We've got to risk it. Am I reds? Okay, well, good job I've got these cut downs. Okay, I got these cut downs. All right, well, that's the first one gone. That's the first threat down. Having a 2 4 flying body is pretty good against Mono Red. Like, it's really tough for them to deal with. Unless they've got like Nahiri's Warcraft then. No, nope. okay. You take it. Beanstalk. Yeah, let's just get that down. If we get a land. Okay, brilliant. Let's take that out. Pass. Yeah. Uh, I'll quite happily trade now. You can play with fire that if you want. I've got my value. Monstrous Rage, okay. Well, either way, they still die. Oh. The draw, that's why, exactly what I wanted. Um, let's go with the shark. And I'll pass. I can hold up, make disappear. If not, I can make a 2 2 creature. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Take that. Okay, opponent going first. Yeah, I'll keep. Got good amount of land. Got a removal. Got a nice payoff in Shieldreds. Oh, I'm against a, like a big deck. Okay, land go. Yep. Get the beanstalk going. Good draw. Really good draw. Rock priest. That's also a good draw. Uh, I think I'm just going to go with black. I'm going to go with Jurass. Take that. Deal with that. Yep, take a poison. 
We're going to be taking a lot of poison here. Actually, maybe we should have took the Drowning Echo, because... Oh, actually, no, it's fine. Oh, actually, no, it's fine. I don't really care about the Glister at the moment. It's the poison I'm worried about. Uh... Yeah. Okay, so here I'm going to go blue, black, life and insight. Are we a land? Yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna go for, for the glitter. Yeah. Just a gives him card draw, and I don't want that. Yeah. Go to five. Okay, play Shieldred, doesn't get killed by this. That's the main thing. Death touch, yeah, true. True, 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 true. Oh, this is, this is going to be difficult. Wow, it's going to be pretty useful. Might have to be a blot out, go for the throat turn. See what they go for. Up down as well. Wow. Okay. So blot out, see what they do. You get rid of the rock priest. No, they're going to keep the rock priests around. I think I'm dead, right? Okay. Oh, they can't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe should have got rid of the Drowning Echo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. GG. This deck's quite fun. Uh, I enjoy it. You know, it's kind of a bit weird. A few times we kind of struggled with land here and there. But overall, it is a really fun deck. It is a weird mesh mash. I mean... It's literally a toolbox deck. You can build this however way you want. If there's a few things in there you think, ah, it's not very good. I want to add some more of this or change some things around. Then you can do. I mean, hey, look, the Beanstalk Worm, he did all right. But up the Beanstalk was brutal. It was absolutely brutal in a lot of those games. So, especially with Lear. Lear actually did really well. Obrega Horror did amazing with all those other Beanstalks. And uh, Siphon Insight has helped us quite a bit as well. So, if you want to give this deck a try, guys, the deck list will be in the description below. And if you want to watch more Magic content, guys, make sure to subscribe. We've got a ton of Magic content on this channel, especially Standard make sure you are subscribed for all of that goodness. All right, guys, that's it for me in this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.